Good evening, and welcome to the 40 and Slip. This is episode 132, the Bark at the Supermoon episode. Tonight, we are sans Steve Alcorn. It is the night before Thanksgiving. It's been a while since we've recorded a show. It's been a couple of weeks. But I'd been under the weather a couple of different times. And I'm still battling, I don't know, a cold, the flu, some shit. I had a pretty high temperature for a couple of days. Sat in bed. Didn't do much of fucking anything. And decided tonight that I should try to record something. And, of course, Richard is, as always, just like that fucking dog in the Looney Tunes commercials just yapping around me going, What are we going to do today, Chris? Huh, Chris? Huh? 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 That's not... (laughs) That's 60% accurate. (laughs) So... I fucking decided we should do something tonight, because why the fuck not? Happy fucking Turkey Day, everybody. I know a lot of people probably won't be listening to this tomorrow, because they'll be too busy stuffing their fucking faces in this country. You guys don't have anything even that resembles Thanksgiving, right? No, we don't. And it's one of the times of year I really miss living in America, because, oh, the food. The food is glorious. And only in America could you have a holiday that is based around food and genocide. It's definitely one of my favorite days of the year. Oh, I thought thought you would have been on the side of, you know, the white man killing the fucking Indians. I figured you, you know, you British people would just think that they're savages. You know, (laughs) just for the record, a lot of those immigrants were, you know, French and Spanish as well. It's not just British people that that went over there and killed a bunch of Indians. Good Although point. we did do our fair share of killing Indians. Good, good point. Uh, there are there are any Indians listening to this show? Um, Sods. Well, they're, they're technically Native Americans. Oh, right. No, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. Fucking who needs PC bullshit? I grew, I grew up on yeah. they're Indians. Yeah, so they're not from India. Who gives a shit? <clears throat> I, I think by and large, they really don't give a fuck. As long as they're treated with respect. As long as you, you know, don't give them smallpox and take their land. They're a pretty good, easygoing people. Yeah, just don't give them any booze. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard that. Is that like an unfair racial stereotype, or is that true? I, to be honest, I don't know, but I've 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 heard we'll stories. Get, we'll have to get some Native Americans and give them some booze. We could do that as an on an episode one day. Technically, I spent some time in Washington <coughs> with a Native American who was drinking some booze. <laughs> and <laughs> Quite, was, he, was he all right? Was he all right? Um, I think you know the end to that story. Oh, yes. yes I <laughs> but, yeah. So, uh, Richard and I thought we'd talk about the uh, the effects of the supermoon on dogman and werewolves. However... Apparently, they're two separate things. Are they? Yeah, that, that's what I've been told. Dogmen and werewolves are separate things. Who told Dogmen are bipedal. Who told you dogs, this? Doggy wolfy things. Uh, Vic Cundiff. Oh. Uh, and he is the expert? The go-to guy? He is the definitive expert. On, the go-to guy. I mean, he's got a YouTube channel and a Facebook page, and that makes you an expert these days. So. Oh. I see. So, uh, ah, and I'm pretty sure he has a microphone as well. So, 
covered that, the whole bases. Well, that is true. If you go by the Opie and Anthony School of Radio, uh, if you have a microphone in front of you, you are an expert. So, I but get yeah, werewolves turn into are uh, humans that turn into wolves every full moon, and dogmen are just dogmen all year round. So, does the super moon have any effect on them? Well, um, there was a rise in werewolf attacks across North America during it, and this is actually true. You can look these police reports up. I can, there are I, numerous I can, ch- accounts. I can check the statistics. <laughs> there are numerous reports of people saying they were attacked by werewolves during the supermoon, so obviously it excited them. <laughs> FBI stats of people murdered, people robbed, people killed by werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> it's there, you know, the statistics are there. Um it's um There have been studies, Richard. Elect- there have been studies, yeah. Oh. People have uh, mm. President elect Trump, it's one of his um platforms he wrote on the pro punishment for werewolves. No, oh, he's gonna is he gonna deport them? <laughs> oh no, he's gonna build a wall around them. Just around them? Just around then, yeah. That would be a lot of walls. Said, apparently, apparently, it was more cost-effective to do that than to deport all the werewolves. And some of them were born in the country, so. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, what, what do you think of the uh, whole uh, turnout in our uh, election over here, since we haven't spoken really before? Well, um... I've, I've never, as you know, I've never, I've never identified with the far left or the far right, but I'm, I'm really coming around to hating liberals if this is good, the way they're going to act when they don't get their own way. I mean, I don't know about your Facebook wall, but mine's been absolutely appalling. Well, it's, the, it's kind of the way things go over here, as far as I'm concerned, is that. The pendulum swings in one way extremely, and then we think we have to overcorrect it, so we just push the fucking thing all the way in the other direction. And if you look at how our presidential elections have gone, it's it's exactly that way. I mean, we have, you know, eight years of Clinton, and then eight years of Bush, and then eight years of Obama, and now Trump. Do you think it's going to get the full eight years or just four? Um, I'm hopeful that it's only four, personally. Um, I, I mean, I'll give the guy a chance. I I was not for him. Um, I wouldn't have voted for him. But I wasn't really for Hillary either. <laughs> um, the interesting thing is, is that she has won the popular vote. She's up by, like, I think uh, uh, I one... Even. She's up by like 1.7 million votes in the popular vote at this point. Um, And that's only happened, I think, five times in American history. And two of those times have been in in the past uh, 16 years. The other three times were in the 1800s, where someone won the popular vote and didn't win the election. And the last person that it happened to was Al Gore, who lost to to George W. G.W. Well, yeah, I mean, but we've all seen the statistics. 20.7 vo- voted for Hillary, 20.6 voted for Donald Trump, 1.7 voted for Johnson, uh, less for Stein. 46% of the country didn't vote. Yeah. You know, just that's appalling. That is appalling. Well, if you go by the George Carlin school of thought, it's not appalling. What's the George Carlin school of thought? That um, if you vote and you actually vote these ignorant motherfuckers in, that you have no right to complain. You know, and his take was, I, on the other hand, didn't vote, didn't even leave the fucking house. 
So therefore, I have every right to complain. But, but you don't, because, you, you know, you're not participating. Your vote might have kept the scales. Um, yeah. Uh, if you understand anything about how the shit works over here... Yeah, the, ele- yeah, yeah, the electoral <laughs> college. Type. I mean, especially in a lot of the your blue states or your red states... If you're voting in the other direction, it's only in the swing states that it really fucking matters, which is why I think we need to go to a popular vote. Uh, I've thought that way for a long time. I, I think that the Electoral College is an outdated system. It's ignorant. Um, the, the only thing we use it for is the presidency. Everything, Every other elected official gets elected by popular vote. But yeah, but Steve explained it to me because I didn't really understand it. But it, it's a it's a pretty fair way of doing things. No, no, it's not. It's like if you, you go by the popular vote, then a lot of um, the people that live in rural areas are going to be completely ignored. No, they won't be completely ignored. If you go by the popular vote, everybody's vote counts. If you're going by an electoral college. In this case, like this year especially, the person who won the popular vote did not get elected. And by a pretty high margin. I mean, she won the popular vote. Let's face facts. Well, but, I mean, like, the logic is, if you go by the popular vote, then presidential candidates won't uh, focus on... Um, Everyone, they'll just focus on the huge amount of people, the, the places with the most amount of people. Well, you know, and, just and, for those and areas. hey, maybe to their detriment. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. And we have a very similar system in England called the pass the post system. Um, and a lot of people are saying the same thing over here that we, we don't want it, um, but... They all wanted to vote for UKIP, so I'm not sure that their opinion matters. I think we should vote for the dog man. The dog man is severely underrepresentative. And, you know, did you know that six out of eight werewolf sightings are misidentified dogmen? I had no idea. I didn't know these statistics were available. It, Where can I find these st- these wonderful dogmen slash werewolf <laughs> statistics? They're available on the internet. You just do a, a simple Google search. will give you all the information you need. And I'm sorry, but like, I'm starting to feel that this dogman werewolf thing is just basic speciesism of, you know, of the human race. They're not taking into account that there is a difference between werewolves and dogmen, and I just feel that, like, that's racism, basically. So what would Wilfred be? You know? Wilfred. I don't know who that is. The fucking television show with Elijah Wood. I don't know what that is. Seriously? I don't know what that is. Seriously. Uh, (coughs) Anyway... I I gave up on TV a long time ago. I see. So, uh, speaking of TV, though, um, not to deviate from our wonderful subject of dogmen slash werewolves, um, have you yet to check out the Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency? I haven't checked it out yet, no, sorry. Ah, God. The fuck is wrong with you? It is... I'm, you know, and you know that I haven't read any of the Douglas Adams books, correct? Yeah, you have said that. Okay. And I did enjoy the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy movie that came out uh, with Martin Freeman. I don't know how true to the book that is or, or whatnot, but I did enjoy it. Um, and I have had the intention of reading those books. I've heard from many different people now that it's something that I would enjoy. Uh, but I heard that this Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency was coming on, and I definitely had wanted to check it out. So I think I'm like five, I think they're like five episodes in at this point. It's pretty fucking out there. 
And, oh, that's cool. I'll and get I, I like it. There's there's a, there's a little bit of everything in it. Little little bit of everything. A little bit of something for everybody. And it's fucking wacko. And I love it. All right. All right. I will, I will make a conscious effort to watch it. Um, <clears throat> but back to the, uh, uh, the dog men. There is, there actually is kind of like a dog, yeah. a dog men or dog man tie into the show because in it, there are people trapped inside of animals. And one of them is a corgi. Courtney. A corgi. The dog. A corgi. Yeah. Oh, the little dogs. Yeah. The little little corgis. I like corgis. Of course they you are do. Quite cute. Uh, so, yeah, you should definitely check that out. But uh, I'm 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 still more concerned about this uh, statist these statistics on the dogmen slash werewolves. You still haven't... I mean, a Google search doesn't tell me anything. Where are these statistics at, Richard? I need to know. All, all, you, have to, all you have to do is do a simple Google search at werewolf attacks with the supermoon. It'll take you to the FBI website, and you'll see all the list of attacks that why, took place over the supermoon. Why do I not believe you? I just, I, at all. I mean, I just I like, have a, I have a computer in front of me right now, and I don't even want to bother because I know I'm going to be disappointed. Bother, you're letting them win. I, I'm I'm going to be disappointed. Is what's going to happen? But it just uh, I did see some uh, police reports about suspected werewolf attacks over the uh, super moon. Uh, in all seriousness. Oh. I don't think the FBI was involved. With the statistics? Yeah. Or the attacks? But, you know, if, if, if the werewolf attacked one person in Maine and then went over to New Hampshire, then, yeah, it would be a federal. So. And they'd call in Fox Mulder? They'd have to. I mean, no one else would look into it. I wish they'd just fucking bring that show That'd back. That w that, that, oh, that, that little stint was so fucking good. It was. It was very good, especially that whale lizard episode. I still watch that today, to this day. I downloaded it and I will watch it on a daily basis. It was, it was definitely a good take on the whole where <clears throat> uh idea. I liked it a lot. But, I, I mean, I liked the whole... The whole arc that they did with the that. Whole the whole series was pretty good. I mean, I loved how, like, there wasn't any real major story throughout the episodes, just the last episode tied into the first one. Right, right. Um, I don't know how they do a series after that, after how it ended, but I'm sure they could think of a way. Maybe. It's possible. I'm not gonna hold. I'm like not. I'm, it was a dream. I'm not gonna hold my breath right now. <clears throat> Jillian Anderson seems to be doing quite well with her uh, little show on Netflix. And yeah, she's in the fool, isn't she? Yeah, I, I've watched a couple episodes of that, but I haven't checked out a a great portion of it. But I liked what I saw. Um, <clears throat> and I know that Hollywood's been keeping David Duchovny busy. I mean. Who doesn't want a fucking sex crazed actor with, you know, tons of baggage in their shows? But he's so awesome, though. I mean, he hasn't lost a beat. Oh fuck in no! The, in every no, he's still the same. He's still awesome. Yeah, he was fucking absolutely great. Um, so. Being that there, that we is the super moon over. Yeah, the super moon's over. It's been over for about a week and a half. Ah, shit! Um, I missed it. A lot of people did. It was very cloudy in a lot of places during the. Uh, That's not true. I I didn't East. I didn't miss it. I kind of saw it, but only because I was driving at night and 
the moon was out, and I happened to look at it. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get any, you know, like tingly, funny feelings though, Richard. So, no worries. I'm not. You didn't. I'm not going to turn into a werewolf anytime soon. I don't think. Because I'm. I figure, you know, if you're under the super moon and you're a werewolf, it, shit's got to go down. Yeah. Well, I mean, would would you turn into a super werewolf? Like you become like like Super Mario. No, like like Superman, only a werewolf. No. Well, with the laser eye vision and the flying. No. And the rugged handsomeness. No, that that takes it a little bit too far. Don't they already get that in the movies? I want somebody to portray a fucking werewolf as a nasty motherfucker with like no teeth, um, you know, just haggard. Not one of these good-looking fellows who just friggin' manages to get the girl. <laughs> I'd like to see a movie with a werewolf with mange. Yeah, no shit, right? I mean, that'd be funny. Come on, let's take this to a fucking level that we can all relate to. The fucking thing has rabies. We need to put it down. <laughs> <laughs> Old Yeller, only a werewolf. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's in one of the uh, Terry Pratchett books. I forget what which one it is. Um, Billy, we need you to well, go outside and kill your brother. <laughs> <laughs> where, where this guy's a werewolf, but it's a reverse werewolf. He's a wolf. All of the month, except for the full moon where he turns into a human. And he's just dashing. <laughs> Hits on all the women. Takes them all home. No, he, no. Knocks them up with puppies. <laughs> There's all these women running around, fucking getting pregnant nine months later with a litter of fucking babies. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be some crazy shit. That would be pretty. And insane. what? And what happens if a fucking a a female werewolf goes into heat? Does the fucking werewolf go crazy like a dog? Because I've seen a dog try to hump another dog through a cage when the female's in heat. That's a, an interesting question. So actually. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm that, very I, curious. If that same dynamic Does goes on. Does that bring male werewolves in from Cross County? Yeah. Can dogmen breed with werewolves? Well, I I think then you wind up with this whole kind of the tiger-lion mix, the liger. You know, it's kind of like a, you know, it's a strong but yet kind of dumb fucking mixed breed that can't do anything. What would you call a hybrid between a werewolf and a dogman? A were dog man. I don't know. A were a were dog man. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't fucking That's... know. What would you call that? <laughs> well, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Does that like uh-huh. does that reduce the amount of time that it's a human being? Because yeah, dogmen don't, yeah, well, dogmen don't change, right? Right, it's a good point, actually. So, would it be like a dog most of the time, or would it be half and half? Two weeks a werewolf, two weeks a human. I don't know. And would you be a proper wolf? Because dogmen aren't wolves; they're dogs. That are men. It'd be like the koi wolf. This is. It'd be like the perfect mix that will just fuck everything up. <laughs> I, I always want to see those evolutionary fuck ups of like the koi wolves that had the worst attributes from wolves and coyotes. <laughs> the fucking runts of the litter. <laughs> yeah, the ones that, that didn't quite get the apex predator stuff. Like the Danny DeVito of the Twins movie. 
<laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> the leftover junk DNA. <laughs> <laughs> No, Literally I, like the coyote from the Roadrunner car- cartoons. Hey, I, I, does... Now, does silver uh, affect the dogman as well as... In the same capacity as the werewolf? Do, oh, we, do uh, we know this? Apparently not. Apparently it's uh, decapitation of fire or just shooting for dogmen. Uh, but it's silver for werewolves and decapitation. Uh-huh. But de- decapitation so, you know, is the the common thread. Common thread. I mean, it, it kills most things, except for hydras, obviously. If you're listening, do not attempt to decapitate a hydra. Or a troll. It I, never guess, ends. I guess trolls can regenerate too, right? Um, At least in Dungeons and Dragons, they're yeah, good. Yeah, trolls... Yeah, trolls. You can only, hydras especially. You can only kill the motherfuckers with fire. You always encounter them when you've got no charges on your staff or something. Yeah. It's just very bother it's team. very it's very bothersome. Yeah. Trolls are annoying. Um what else did I want to talk about? The re release of Skyrim. You can tie in werewolves yeah. with that. There is a whole we where can. there is a whole werewolf story arc in Skyrim. There is. There is a um, yeah. There is a massive uh, tie in there because there's a whole campaign based around werewolves in Skyrim. Uh, I want to talk about remastered games in general because it's not just Skyrim. Uh, Return to Arkham came out uh, a few weeks ago as well. Um, Basically, I want it to stop. <laughs> okay. Um, it, and the so, is, so, so wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Is that to say that you're not uh, looking forward to the Final Fantasy VII remake? No, I'm not. Okay. I am. Um, I'm really not. I never had a. I don't have a problem with the original game. No, the original game's solid. No, it, it doesn't need remaking because they'll ruin it, and they're already bringing it out in chapters. Yeah, I, I had heard that. You know, which I think and that's just the first. I think a lot of that is going to ruin the um, likability of the new whatever you want to fucking call it, Uh, just because people aren't going to want to go out and have to buy this game to buy the first chapter and then the second chapter and then the third chapter and so on and so forth. It It depends. They do a lot of the Telltale games where you buy it once and they give you you the, the chapters for download as it's released. That's not a bad thing, but... You know, you're still paying full price for an incomplete game. Yeah. But people do that all the time on Steam or whatever when they buy early access games. <coughs> do you pay 60 quid, $60 for an early access game? Not generally. No, you pay like but 17 then, 18 But then again, a lot of these early access games are from publishers who aren't nearly as big as Square Enix and not as much as expected of them. Oh, I don't expect anything from Square Enix anymore. I mean, it's been a, the last decent Square Enix game I played was Life is Strange. Yeah. See, I'm not a huge fan of their stuff, but I'll tell you one game that I do miss that I wish I could get on PC is uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. You can get that on PC. I can't. I can't find it anywhere. Just download an emulator in a ROM. Oh, yeah. An emulator in a ROM. But I fucking can't get it on Steam, which is where I'd like to be able to purchase it. 
Well, because te- no, because technically, more. technically, Richard, that's a ripoff. You're ripping them off. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not saying I'm not in, endorsing that at all. <laughs> you just say just saying that it's out there. It's out there, you know. I, I don't condone it. I'm just saying you could do that if you wanted. Uh-huh. But but it's it's a Game Boy exclusive game. It was never released for anything other than a Game Boy, so you don't have any for the Game Boy. I had it on the PlayStation. Okay. Yeah. We're talking about the same game, here, right? Final Fantasy Tactics. Top down, square. Yeah. Moving diagonal. Huh. I only ever thought it was released for the PC, uh, for the Game Boy. No, it was uh, PlayStation. Um, they re-released it for the PSP, um, and they actually added some anime cutscenes to it. Um, but it's I don't believe it's ever. Actually, I know for a fact it's never been released for PC. Is that I've been able to find. So. Besides your like uh, little workaround. I did enjoy Final Fantasy Tactics and Tactics Advanced. Those yeah, they, yeah, they were both great games. So, That's why I got I, Final I, Fantasy XII, because it was set in the same universe. It was so a very shit game. But... You don't like any of the remastered games, then? I don't agree with... Like, Skyrim... You know, there's stuff in my freezer that's older than that game. Um, Return it's to still... Arkham, especially. Yeah, and but Skyrim, Skyrim is a great game. It still holds up. Yeah, but I play the, the... Well, the original now, I guess. <coughs> on the PC. And my brother got the, the remastered for his PlayStation 4, and the graphics honestly look better on the PC. Hmm. So I'm like, well, yeah. what did they do for the remaster? Did they just add the high-res pre- patch and the high-five each other? Well, I know that they finally released it for, like, the Xbox One and all of that. Um, my, my son was telling me about that recently, <clears throat> which is pretty awesome. I mean, he was really into that game. That kid, like, wound through that game in no time. It's an amazing game. I mean, it's one of your go-to games. I I always have that and Borderlands 2 installed on my computer at all times because those two games, no matter what mood I'm in, I can go to them and I can play them. Yeah. I think I'm pretty sure I have Borderlands 2. I'm not sure which one I have. But I have so many different games. They just fucking bounce around way too much. But it's a lot. It's a lot of fun, though. It is. I wish Gearbox would hurry up with the third one. Well, you can wish all you want. So anything else? Anything else going on in the world of the supernatural, Richard? I'm I'm kind of out of the whole the whole Bigfoot loop. I don't pay much attention to the Bigfoot uh, loops it's, anymore. It's, the Bigfoot thing's just gone insane. The woos have completely taken over almost every aspect, and it's invisible Bigfoot. This mind speaking Bigfoot that, and just you know, it's plenty of material for my blog, but you know. Sanity wise, they've jumped off the deep end. Well, I think a lot of us would like to see uh, if there's going to be any type of research that it there actually be concrete research. Uh, I've gotten into many arguments with people about this over the years, um, and I've still yet to see anything come out of the Olympic project, but yet I was told that there was all kinds of scientific research going on um and you know you always hear that somebody's close to something or that they're gonna freaking come out with some new evidence or some bullshit and 
it just winds up being. I, I was just uh, <laughs> watching that video that Bob, aka Para Breakdown, <clears throat> uh, did a breakdown of. He sent he sent it to me. I don't know how many days ago that uh, Bigfoot that crosses the trail there is that was that a Russian one? Yeah, I believe so. Um, I mean, people come up with some interesting fucking videos, but that's all it really is. I mean, most of it's very, very grainy. There's not much to see. Uh, it usually winds up being either a person or somebody trying to pull a fucking bullshit hoax. And it makes you pretty jaded. <laughs> yeah, jaded. It makes you want to I mean, cool people with hugs. It does. It, I mean, it does me anyway, because I'd like to see something concrete. And then you see a lot of this bullshit that just gets thrown out there, which is obvious I'm bullshit. Just, and there's a lot. There is so a obvious. lot of it. And it's I mean, unfortunate. It's, just, it's getting to the point where I personally am going to just embrace the null hypothesis and move on. I'm just gonna let it all go. Is this wait a minute? Is is this where you become Zen? No, uh, it's not even about Zen. It's about just admitting that everybody who ever told me I was crazy for believing in Bigfoot was right because Bigfoot doesn't exist. <coughs> uh, I can't definitively say that Bigfoot doesn't exist. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't think a lot of people have any clue or really know. <clears throat> uh, is there a possibility? I think there is a distinct possibility. Possibility. I'm not saying that that means that there is or that there isn't, just that there is a possibility. You know, I find it interesting that we managed to find all kinds of new species all over the planet all the time. Yeah. Um, a, a lot now, and a lot of times, these species are directly related to something else, or very similar to something else. So it, it would be very easy to overlook them. The thing that fascinates me is the, <coughs> the oceans, because the oceans cover three quarters of the fucking planet, and we haven't even begun to scratch the surface of what's under there and we're constantly finding new creatures underneath the water now th and that if if you're going to be a cryptozoologist i think that's where you want to be it's just a person yeah thought. i agree no, i agree completely there's lots of shit in the uh, oceans we didn't know existed and uh so it's nice that we are discovering it all. <clears throat> I mean, do I think like Godzilla is going to rise up out of the fucking ocean? No. How I don't awesome think that would that be? Though? I don't think that's going to happen. Um, it would be. It would. I don't know that it would be awesome. It might be fucking pretty terrifying, Richard. Well, depending. Well, you're in Maine. I mean, it's hardly going to. Godzilla's going to hardly wake up and go. I'm going to destroy Maine. Well, do you I think Godzilla York, wakes up? No, 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 no. Wait, fucking, I don't think Godzilla would wake up and say, I'm going to fucking destroy any place. He might do. I mean, do we even know that the thing has rational thought? Yeah. Maybe, Maybe he's aware. Wait a minute. Maybe he's a aware Godzilla. Aware he's only Godzilla, Godzilla some of the time. <laughs> And the I'm rest of the time, he's, and the rest of the time, he's like a sea urchin. <laughs> a codfish or something. <laughs> yeah. Something stupid. <laughs> something really lame and stupid. <laughs> yeah. Because that, that works. <laughs> the, the full moon, he breathes fucking lightning. <laughs> it's just like oh no that time of the month again 
<laughs> Just as long as he's not an overgrown iguana, like that horrible fucking movie they did in the nineties. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. What? Don't know what you're talking about. It never happened. Oh Jesus! Not this shit again. Oh shit! Was it? Was this eternal sunshine of the spotless mind? There was, there was no film in the 90s with Matthew Broderick. Never happened. It's like the uh, supposed... Fer you, you mean to tell me that Ferris Bueller didn't stop Godzilla? <laughs> no. Definitely didn't. He took the day off from school and fucking gave Godzilla a pregnancy test. Uh, why are you reminding me of that? It's <laughs> <laughs> In my mind. And I did nothing to stop it. That fucking movie was just an atrocious piece of shit. From the people who brought you yet another piece of shit, Independence Day. I like the first Independence Day film. Oh, go fucking screw. I, I, initially, did I like... Corny. Hey, initially, did I like... Independence Day. Yes. Visually, it was a cool movie. Um, and here comes the train. Uh, yes. Welcome. The soothing, relaxing sounds of the train. Can you hear that? Yeah, I can hear it. Ah, isn't that great? Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, <clears throat> Let you know you're alive. Yeah. And I completely lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, Independence Day. Yeah, initially and it was really cool. Love, love me some aliens. Love me some fucking aliens battling people on Earth. Great shit. Um, that movie was written so badly. Oh yeah. Just oh god, what a piece of shit. And I'm... I have I have yet to see the second one. This this new bag of dog shit that they fucking rolled out and put in theaters but i've heard it was just bad it, it was it's worse than what you're thinking oh that's that's great i mean because whatever see, you're thinking, because it's worse because here's the thing you know did i think that teenage mutant ninja turtles 2 was going to be a great movie no but it wasn't <laughs> so atrociously bad that when i was watching it I wanted to knife somebody in the chest who I created it. I didn't. I thought it was okay. Like, I, I, I was entertained. I have a feeling if I watched Independence Day 2, not only would I want to slit Jeff Goldblum's throat for fucking participating in it, um, I'd just want to just fucking beat everybody right down the line who was no. involved. <laughs> It, it, it was no uh, Jeff Goldblum was a highlight of that film, and that by itself tells you all you need to know about it. <laughs> oh, it just oh god, just so, that's all I'll say about it. Whatever you're thinking about it, it's worse than that. Oh, then I'm glad I, I fucking watch, missed it. I'll watch almost anything, especially if you tell me something's terrible. That's the one way you will guarantee me to watch something. Because if you tell me it's terrible, I'll in automatically go watch how terrible it is. And yeah. Now, now here's something we can both agree on, because I think it's been out enough that we can talk about it a little bit. <clears throat> and very Fordian in nature is Doctor Strange. Oh, what a what a gem! What a gem! Yeah, I, I and the whole time I was fucking psyched to go see this movie i want the listeners of this program to know that richard kept telling me benedict cumberbatch is a one-trick pony he can only do one thing it's always the same thing it's never different it, it's gonna suck and it wasn't different but it worked no it was fucking totally different it, he was great it was exactly the same as every other character he's ever been but he, uh, oh God, no, it wasn't. It, it, it so was. He was a smug, self-satisfied asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, argue, argue that point. <laughs> Come on. Huh? No, I didn't think so. Well, I mean, <laughs> Richard, I mean, come on. Isn't he British? <laughs> true. true. <laughs> well played, good sir. Well played. <laughs> You're welcome. No, I, I, I thought he was great in the role. I thought he, he slid into the shoes of uh, Doctor Stephen Strange very well. Um, I have read a little bit of the original Doctor Strange comics, not not in any great detail. Um, however, I have heard that they took a lot for that movie from the comics, <clears throat> and visually, it's amazing. Um, I'd really like to go back and see it in 3D um, if I can get a chance to. I don't know that I will, but I'd, it is something that I would like to do uh, because I only saw it in the, the regular format. But the movie is just... It it was a, a great take on that character. <clears throat> and the story itself, you know, and I, I understand like there was a lot of people who had issues with the way they changed a lot of the characters around like having a woman play the ancient um or the ancient one or whatever the fuck you want to call her um and i guess in the comics wong was uh dr strange's assistant <coughs> and in this he's you know this master magician which and i thought all of it worked very well um and you know if anybody doesn't want the movie spoiled, you know, you might want to turn the fucking show yeah. off. But, you know, I thought the way they made it out that, uh, I can't remember the name of the uh, villain in the movie, yeah. his actual name, but that was played by Mads Mikkelsen, who, by the way, was great. Amazing. Um, the, the whole arc that, you know, he was trying to get the same, use the same type of power that the ancient one had been siphoning off of uh, Dormammu for, you know, however long she had been living. I don't know if they ever alluded to how long she actually had been alive, but you know that she was a hypocrite, and uh, that that, and and that was yet another thing that caused you know Stephen Strange to question everything was when he figured it out. He figured out that she was using the power of Dormammu to uh, lengthen her life. But I also loved how he trapped fucking Dormammu in the end with the whole fucking I've come to bargain bullshit. That made me giggle on a, a fucking level that was like, that's such great. A <laughs> such know, a good scene. You know, no, you know. Yes, I am going to die, but as long as I'm here dying over and over and over again, you're not going to be able to do anything, and that makes you my prisoner. I thought that was fucking fantastic. Brilliant. <laughs> it was very cool. The whole film was just amazing, and yeah, I was wrong. I didn't think it was going to be great. It was great. And I will argue that Benedict Cumberbatch was exactly the same. As he always is. Well, we can we can we can agree to disagree on that one, but uh, <clears throat> the way they uh, they worked everything in, you know, the the cloak of levitation, um, and just the whole look of the movie was <coughs> was just awesome. I like the way um, they explained the magic in a way that made sense to me. That it was like interdimensional energy, right? I thought that was very well done, and and the you know the end scene, which plays into the fact that uh, Doctor Strange is going to be in the next Thor movie. I thought was pretty awesome. Hmm. Which I had to IMDb that just to make sure that he was going to be in there, and he is. Yeah. So that means you're going to have the Hulk, the fucking Hulk and Doctor Strange in the next <laughs> Thor movie. That's pretty badass. That's cool. Uh, yeah, Ragnarok. I'm um, 
for the first time, I'm actually pretty psyched for a Thor movie. Um, yeah, I, didn't... I thought the I thought the first movie that Kenneth Branagh directed was great, and I didn't think it was it was the most amazing movie, but I thought it was I thought it was well done. The second one, I thought took a big shit all over the the first one. Oh, the second one, one of the characters was fucking replaced, and I didn't even notice. That's how little I cared about the movie. Yeah. Oh God, it was it was so bad how they did that shit. It was just bad. I was so, I was just like, um, meh. That's how I felt about the first two Thor movies. Meh. Yeah. So yeah, I, I mean, didn't hate them. Didn't hate them. It is what it is. It is what it is, and we're gonna we're gonna see what we're gonna see. There's a lot of cool movies coming out. We go um, to phase three. Uh, you know, you know, I've actually, um, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm going to endeavor, not just for myself, uh, but for this show. I'm going to endeavor to finish watching Krampus. Wow. Um, I started watching it. I got, I think, about halfway through, and I have to say that I wasn't, uh, I didn't hate it. I was entertained, and I'm going to endeavor to finish that um, so that I can we can do a proper Krampus episode again this year, because I, I like to touch on Krampus, because who doesn't like a fucking, the anti-Santa, you know? I mean, come on now. Who doesn't who doesn't love a fucking a demon that goes around and fucking beats kids with a stick? It's definitely the looks like a fucking demon. It's definitely the way forward for Christmas. I love how people just are like embracing the whole Krampus thing and they're like making festivals and everybody's dressing up like fucking Krampus. We're doing that for it's a just, long time. I think that's Before fucking the great. Movie came out. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, but it's 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 gained way more popularity as time's gone on here in America in yeah. recent years. Because I, yeah, because I mean, it's there were there was a time where I had never even heard of this motherfucker, and then all of a sudden, boom, he's everywhere. Boom. You know, there's festivals going on and Krampus. Krampus. He was everywhere. Him and fucking Santa. Do you think they hang out in the off season? I think they play do. golf. I think they chill out all year round on a beach in Tahiti with a couple of margaritas. Santa gives Krampus his naughty list, and he's like, "You know what to do." And Krampus, is Santa like, just yeah. sits there and bitches, ab- bitches <laughs> about Mrs. Claus about his elves. <laughs> you know they've got a fucking union now. <laughs> uh, and yeah there is there is no news this week so uh since we are sans steve i was i was gonna grab some news stories and do some do some news but i decided against it because i'm lazy it's steve it's just face facts i'm lazy it's steve's thing <clears throat> yeah and it's it's steve's thing when people um without him um and and not that I'm going to bring it up or anything but uh it is I mean it was posted on his his public wall um Steve's going through some shit right now and uh that's why we don't have him this week and uh wish him well and of course I I touched base with him to see if he wanted to do the show with us and and he didn't but um you know I, I wished him a happy thanksgiving and you know, I told him to keep his chin up, but I'm not going to go into the details of what's going on because it's uh, it's it's semi personal. But like I said, it was posted publicly, um, so anyone who's obviously friends with him on Facebook can could see what or would know what I'm talking about. But um, you know, my my uh, thoughts go out to Steve and his family. Um, and I hope that uh, everything's all right for him and him and his and uh yeah. i hope that they can get through the holiday okay but um that being said if only we could get mick west <laughs>
Someday it's going to happen. <laughs> what about Adam West? Yes, let's get Adam West. Have him do the back thing. <laughs> this has been episode 132 of the 40 and Slip. If you like this shit, hit the thumbs up button. If you don't, hit the little thumbs down button. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Share this shit around, people. I don't give a fuck how many friends you have on Facebook. Put it on your wall. Share it to some fucking groups. Share this shit around. Check out the blog at the 40 and or the 40 and Check out Dreadfun at dreadfun.com and youtube.com forward slash dreadfun. Check out Matt Knapp at uh, youtube.com forward slash Bigfoot Crossroads. And check out Richard's blog. The link is below the YouTube video on YouTube. It's going to be a hell of a week for me. Because it's fucking the holidays. I'm not the biggest fan in the world. But I'm, uh, I'm trying. Just trying. I'm like, I'm like fucking, I'm like Jules at the end of fucking Pulp Fiction. You're trying. I'm trying to be the shepherd, Ringo. I'm trying to be the shepherd. It's like one of the greatest films ever made. That it is. That it is. See ya! <laughs>